What's cracking, guys? Omar Aesop here. Here in the gym, as we can see, it's a little bit busy. It's eight o'clock right now. I've been training for damn near four hours. Here to provide an update, what I'm doing with my training. Uh, also, about nutrition, I'm gonna provide a physique update. I've been putting in the damn work in a few weeks. Uh, but needless to say, I lost some weight on that cut uh, when I was away in LA, right? Just bad weight, not eating enough. I've since regained that lost water weight and I've resumed the cut and it's going really, really well. Uh, part of that has to do with my new training routine. And that's what I'm here to talk about because I got a couple different goals. One, I want to get lean. Two, I want to become really good at weightlifting. Three, I want to be pretty fucking jacked. As jacked as I can be for the three out of five Natty King. Um, so I had to combine all these different goals and I had to think about this for a while and I realized I wasn't putting in enough time when it came to weightlifting. Uh, you know, it's a very technical sport, so there's a lot of hours just spent practicing. It's not like the squat, it's not like the deadlift where you can learn it in an hour and then you pretty much have it. It takes a lot of time, like weeks and weeks and just technique drills. So I was taking a look at my schedule and I discovered, or I realized that I just wasn't putting enough time into weightlifting and I also wasn't putting in enough time for hypertrophy. So I wasn't getting the best of both worlds. And if I want to become good, and I have these two goals, right? I want to become good at weightlifting. I'm losing the weight because I'm increasing my work capacity. But I also want to be strong. I want to look good, you know, when I go to the beach. Um, I need to do more bodybuilding. So what I basically have done is I'm now splitting up my training into two days. I call them two sessions in one day. Two at one time. Uh, and this is actually fairly common if you ever look at athletics when it comes to university programs, sports programs. Anyone that's ever played football knows you got an AM session, probably a PM session. They're very, very common. They're not, you know, uh, uh, utilized uh, when it comes to bodybuilding or powerlifting often because you only need four or five, maybe six, seven hours of training in total to produce that training effect. But when you have two large goals, learning this whole new weightlifting, and you also want to become jacked, and you also want to lean out, you got to increase the volume because right now, Due to me just learning weightlifting, it's uh, you know very technical. I'm not lifting sufficient weight to produce a, a, a muscle response, right? A muscle building response. It's just not enough weight because I'm not proficient enough. So I got to put in the time. So the big change I've been doing as I've been training twice in one day. Sometimes like today, if I wake up late, I'll uh, do it all in one session and it's fucking brutal. But I get it done because you got a job to do, you got to do well. So. I, uh, I come into the a.m. normally around 11 a.m. and I'll do my weightlifting that takes about an hour and a half and then I'll take a pause, right? I'll maybe go out and get lunch and do a little bit of work and then I'll resume in an hour or two hours or whatnot my bodybuilding. And the question might be, why not just combine them and then train three hours in one day? And the short answer is because I won't be recovered enough for that bodybuilding or that hypertrophy work. Think about it, I just trained for an hour and a half. I did like snatches, I did a lot of cleans, I did some jerking, I did a lot of jerking. I did some squats, I did some deadlifts. Then I gotta do some, you know, Know, triceps, I gotta do some more volume work for my lower body. You're probably not gonna be as focused. Your CNS, your central nervous system is gonna be drained. So when you got these two big goals, I find splitting it up, the total volume's relatively the same. So even though I'm training twice a day, three to four times a week, so really if you look at the total amount of sessions, I'm getting eight or nine. Uh, my total volume hasn't doubled. It's only gone up maybe five or ten percent. So you essentially split the volume in half. And for those that you know either live at home or you go to college and you have a lot of time on your hand and you want to tackle a couple different goals, sometimes splitting up your training. I did this back in 2012 and I saw a lot of great uh, results. I saw probably the best results, honestly, of my life, just because you could dedicate more time to training uh, by doing this. Now there's a couple different things. By training more, I need to eat more. So that's actually kind of a beneficial thing about this whole process. I get to eat more food. Think about it. I'm training twice in a day, I'm expending more calories, therefore, I'm burning more, and so I get to eat more, and that satisfies me, right? I find that I work better on higher calories. I find that I lose more fat, I lose better weight. So out of the weight, I lose that nutrient partitioning, more of it is fat. I jack up the metabolism, I do a little bit more work, I make sure I get in enough bodybuilding, because that is also an important goal to me. I become more proficient at weightlifting, I get to eat more weight, I lose the fat that I want. The only big thing is recovery. And so to update you guys, I'm not recommending this to you. I'm just providing a little bit of an insight because it's been a while since I provided an update. We got some training videos coming up, just things have been slower because I've been training, putting in the work, and uh, recovering. So it's been a little bit slower, but we're going to get back on track. So just to summarize, the last component, recovery, I'm now taking Epsom salt baths a couple times a week. I'm seeing my man Chris Clatchin, make sure I don't fuck myself up. So I'm getting treated, I'm making sure I'm recovering, I'm getting my hours of sleep. For once in my life, I'm going to bed before midnight, so I make sure I get eight to nine hours of 
sleep. And that's pretty much it. If you want a goal, you gotta go out, you gotta get it. I made these goals for myself. I said I wanna lose weight, I'm losing weight. I said I wanna become better weightlifting, I'm becoming better weightlifting. Eventually my form won't look like dog shit, I'm working on it, and I also wanna get jacked. All these things, I'm combining it, I'm putting in the work, and the results eventually will speak for themselves. I'm gonna have my full routine in the description. I'm also gonna make a video, like this video if you wanna see this, how sometimes training more and then also eating more can be more beneficial when it comes to weight loss. That's it, that's the video guys. Now I gotta resume my training, I gotta do some biceps, I gotta do some triceps, I gotta maybe do some deltoids. I'll see all you guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like the video. I'll see all you guys, my rascals, in that next one. Peace.